So it seems that in the Western world at least, less people are becoming Christians, which is a bit of a worry for the Christian church who understandably want to convert as many people as possible. Because when there's millions of you, what you're involved with is a vibrant, well-respected religion worshipping an all-powerful supernatural wonder deity. Whereas if there's only a few of you, there's just no escaping the fact that you're just a couple of loonies meeting at the local scout hall on a Tuesday afternoon between 1 and 3 p.m., tea and biscuits included, to chat about your imaginary friend. And recently I've had actually quite a lot of people try to convert me to Christianity by suggesting that I read the Bible. And through this, I think I've spotted a major flaw in Christianity's otherwise cheerful marketing campaign to convert people to their die slowly and in excruciating pain on an ancient implement of torture cult. And I thought I'd offer a couple of quick suggestions to any Christians who may be wanting to convert any soon-to-be ex-friends to their God got a girl pregnant without her consent, better get yourself a good lawyer sect. So firstly, get rid of the Bible. It is a terrible marketing tool. I know I have read it. It is one of the main reasons that I am an atheist. I mean, in the first few pages alone, you've got God creating light before the sun, magic apples, talking snakes, giants, people living to over 900 years old, and a guy with apparently the first version of the TARDIS magically able to fit two and seven of every animal into his boat while God drowns everyone else for acting in exactly the way that he designed them to act. No one will take you seriously if you present them with unintelligible drivel like this. Or, if you insist on keeping the Bible, then only allow editions that have been written in Klingon to exist. This way, only those who are truly devoted will bother to read it. And as what they're truly devoted to is Star Trek, they can be safely trusted to read the entire Bible without having the urge to do a spot of ethnic cleansing or get themselves some slaves at the end. And secondly, get rid of God. I mean, he is clearly not pulling his weight in the whole getting people to believe in him thing. Because if he was, people wouldn't have to send messages to me trying to convert me. You know, instead he seems to act like some sort of spoilt pop diva. You know, insisting on being worshipped, waited on hand and foot, groupies at his feet, but then is like two hours late getting on stage. I mean, come on, God has been keeping people waiting for 2,000 years now for his return, which is an unforgivable amount of time to keep your fans waiting and clear evidence that he just doesn't give us stuff about us. So, there you go. Get rid of the Bible and get rid of God. Two quick things that you can do right now to solve not just the problem of converting people to Christianity, but the entire problem of Christianity all together. If science can't answer a question about an unknown fact, there's no need to spend any more time looking further into that. For the answer is obvious to any decent girl or chap. Don't you know? Don't you know? It's the god of the gaps. <laughs>